for your daily inspiration. I'm always so glad to see you. I'm Pastor Kerry, pastor of Emerging Generations here at New Birth, led by Dr. Jamal H. Bryant. And you know, I'm always thrilled that you are here. We have been having such an incredible time for our 15 minute daily devotionals. And I pray that today is no different, that you are challenged, that you are inspired, that you learn something new to push yourself in ways that you've not pushed yourself before. So listen, you know the drill. I want you to follow me. I want to stay connected with you. You can do that by following me on Instagram at Ms. Carrie Baby. And you already know that I'm going to tell you, I want to make sure that you download the New Birth app so that you can stay connected with the ministry. And you can always join us online at newbirth.org. And everything we do is hashtag New Birth now. So listen. If you guys have been following me for a little bit of time now, you know that I love movies. And since we have been in this quarantine, I have really been watching movies at another level. I am a serious movie buff. And I recently went back to one of my old faves. Now, this movie has been around for a long time, but I went back to revisit it. And what movie is that, you might ask? It's Wonder Woman. Today, I want to pull some lessons from the movie Wonder Woman that help us understand how we can become a woman or a man that wins in business. I think a few of these principles will help you. So listen, if you've not watched the movie before, Wonder Woman is a superhero who is by the name of Diana, is an Amazonian goddess. She is a princess. She is an unconquerable warrior with superhuman abilities who saves the world from the corruption of the God of War. Wonder Woman's Amazonian origins arrived from ancient Greece where men had kept women in chains until they broke free and escaped. So listen, there are so many themes of empowerment, of defying gender roles, barriers, defying the norm, forward thinking, all while being beautiful, intelligent, healthy, funny, compassionate, at the same time. Listen, you would be amazed the things that you can learn from movies. And this is one of those movies that I believe will help us in our daily devotional. So I want to give you a few tips today that we can learn from Wonder Woman on how to become better women and for the guys who are watching, how you can become better in business as well. Number one, do not be confined by the mediocre or the superficial. Oftentimes, people will want you to stay in business boxes. We love to box people into things because listen, what we cannot understand and define we tend to try to control. And so people will always try to control you when they cannot define you, when they cannot understand you, and they want to keep you in a certain box with a certain narrative. Listen, people who don't know you will always try to size you up without ever learning your story. Listen, don't be silenced. Don't stay in a box. I want to challenge you to step out of the box because your voice and your story matters, and we learn this in the movie. Listen, there will be times where you will need to be quiet, but there will be many more times where you will need to speak up because your voice will make a different in the, difference in the earth. Number two, do you have any real idea of where you come from? Listen, in the movie, we see that Wonder Woman received different gifts that, from different Greek gods in the movie. They blessed her with different powers, like strength, with beauty. She had animal communication. She had wisdom and war tactics. She had the lasso of truth, and she also had speed and flight. This helps us to understand that, listen, you've got to know know where you came from so that you can know what is inside of you. When you know what is inside of you, you know what you carry, which helps you to understand how rare you are, how significant you are, and the value that you bring to what you do. Number three, do you know the vision? Vision starts early. We see her in the movie very young and beginning to move in vision. You want to make sure that you let nothing enslave you, even when she 
was a little girl. She was curious. She was very interested in the things around her, how she can learn. Don't let being young enslave you. Don't let starting early enslave you. You want to understand the value of time, but you don't want to be manipulated by time or controlled by time. I want you to stop panicking as a result of time, but you have to understand that time can be your greatest asset and your greatest friend as it relates to vision. Number four, are you relentless? How eager are you? How curious are you? How willing are you to study and to train? What things, what questions are you asking about your gifts and your talents, your, your expectations on life and how you are designed to move in the earth? Diana's knowledge served as a golden ticket to the world of men when she began to impressively decipher a code that even the highest ranking uniforms knew nothing about. You have to get to a place that you become so curious that you take no, not for an answer. No is never an answer that you accept, but you continue to ask the questions that cause you to move forward. Number five, have you identified those closest to you who love you but stifle you? If you watch the movie, then you understood that Diana's mother loved her, but her love was also rooted in fear of trying to protect her daughter. Listen, there are people who may mean you well, but they stifle you at the same time. Listen, you have a destiny. You have a purpose and a call on your life that every person attached to may not understand, even the people that are closest to you. They may mean you well, but ultimately they create a level of stifling. They create a level of imprisonment for you because you cannot fully move and be who you want to be. Listen, Diana's mother said to her, if you choose to leave, you may never return. Diana replied, how will I be if I stay? At some point, you have to make a decision to leave environments, leave connections so that you are able to spread your wings and fulfill your call. Ultimately, you have to decipher, is love the driving force or is fear the driving force? Sometimes people stifle us, not just because they love us, but they are fearful and they project that fear onto us. Number six, Greatness does not happen in a vacuum. She was not born a hero overnight, and you will not be born a superhero or a CEO overnight. It takes time. You have to train to become who you are. You have to invest and work hard in becoming who you are. Why? Because it is possible to be gifted and still untrained. It is possible to be talented, but still not have all of the tools you need, even pre destination takes process. Process is our friend and it is a powerful ingredient in your direction and your recipe of becoming great. Diana trained with the greatest warrior in her community. Listen, who is assigned to you to train you that can cultivate you in your gift and in your business? Have you identified the greatest trainer in your area? Have you asked them to mentor you? Have you asked them to reach out to to you so that you are able to learn and move at a high capacity. Who are the community of women around you? We saw that there were a community of women. For men, who are the community of men around you who are going to foster you, who are going to mentor you to ensure that you go to the next level? Mentorship was a powerful, powerful tool in this movie, and we know that it proves to be powerful in our own lives when used the correct way. Number seven, do you know how to maximize your strengths? Do you know how to maximize the armor that you are given? Not to rest on your shield, but to maximize your strengths as you move in business, as you move in the marketplace, or whatever your sphere of influence might be. Listen, Diana still managed to fight and win without the help of her shield. Start fighting with her fist is how she was able to 
to make it. Listen, superhuman strength and durability, uh, both assets during battles, the power of flight. She began to glide through the air on the currents of the wind with superhuman speed, reflexes, and agility. She was enhanced by her senses, including her sense of smell. You've got to know how rare you are, and you've got to know what your strengths are and how to maximize them. This goes back to you understanding everything that you carry and how to use them. Listen, you have to understand that you are the weapon. When you understand that you are the weapon, you will begin to move differently. The big twist in the movie was this. The legendary God Killer was not actually the sword. The true God Killer was Diana herself. Again, and I challenged you about this a few weeks ago, you've got to stop looking outside of yourself for the weapon and you have to understand that God has already given you the weapon. You are the weapon and you are the solution. Listen, just as much as you have to know how to maximize your strengths, number eight, do you know how to maximize your deficiencies? What are your, what are your areas of weaknesses? Wonder Woman shows us in the movie that she lost her power when her hands were bound by a man. Listen, when her bracelets were tied together, she lost her power. What is it that causes you to give in to things that create power deficiencies for you? You've got to know this. Every leader, every business person has to know their strengths, but they also have to know their weaknesses. Number nine, what is the problem that you are called to solve? There was a specific thing that she was called to solve. What is your issue? What is your gift? What is your area in business that you are called to solve? You've got to know this. This is the only thing, the primary thing that will help you move and execute at a greater level. You've got to be clear about what solution you are here for. Number 10, are you willing to risk it all? Are you willing to take risks? How brave are you? Are you fearless in the face of your comfort zone? Are you willing to defy what is the norm so that you can experience greater in your life? Listen, destiny unravels as you move. As you begin to move, you will discover new things about who you are that help feed into your gifts as you continue to go. Listen, Diana conquers no man's land, a land that no man had ever dared to cross before because why? She was willing to act. She was willing to move. What territory is assigned to you and how are you willing to get there? Or are you limited just by the spaces that you've already been to? You've got, got to be willing to take a risk. Do you know when to conform and do you know when to break the rules? You've got to understand that there is a part of your life, your gifting in business and in your call where you've got to be willing to break the rules in all of the good ways so that you are able to access every single thing that God has for you. I told you that there were some amazing things in this movie and in this story. I even have so many more of them, but I'm running out of time that I cannot even share them with you. But I hope that there is something even in the tidbits of this incredible film that help you understand that there are so many things inside of you. There are so many variables around you, but it is the will of the Lord that you be successful, that you are able to move in business at a higher level, in your gifting at a higher level, so that you are ultimately able to impact the world through the problem and the issue that God has placed you in the earth to solve. So I am so grateful that you joined me today. I pray that you were blessed. I pray that in some way you were inspired. And I hope that this becomes a part of who you are as you begin to move for the rest of your day. Listen, as always, I want to offer 
Christ to you. I want to offer a community of faith to you. If you say, listen, New Birth is the place that I want to learn more about God. New Birth is the place that I want to be planted and I want to grow. We welcome you. On behalf of our pastor, Dr. Jamal H. Bryan, you can join literally right now at newbirth.org. And I would invite you to do so. I'm giving you a huge cyber virtual hug even now as you do it. You may also say, Pastor Carrie, I want to sow and I want to give you a chance to do that as well because I personally know the impact of sowing in my life and want to make sure that you have an opportunity as well. Listen, there are a number of vehicles below that you can use to sow into good ground today. I am praying for you. I hope that this little bit of wisdom and inspiration blessed you as you move forward in becoming exactly who you want to be, owning exactly who you are. I'm praying for you. I love you. Have a great one. Thank <laughs> you.